Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be trying to remove this dent out of the back of my truck using a dent puller that I bought from Harbor Freight Tools for just about $15. So as you can see, you know, it's a pretty small dent. It's only a couple inches, as you can see, compared to my hand. And, you know, it's not super noticeable from a distance, but I still want to try to get it out. All right, so to try to repair this dent today, I'm going to be using some paper towels, some multi-surface cleaner just to clean off the area before I begin, and then that $15 dent repair kit from Harbor Freight, which came with a hot glue gun, hot glue sticks, a small bottle of acetone, a scraper, two of the uh, dent repair pads, and then the dent repair puller, and then a little dowel and the instructions. All right, so to start here, we're gonna be just spraying down the uh, surface that we're gonna be working in on the dent. Make sure it's really clean and dry. That way, when we go to put the hot glue on and put it on the stick, it's gonna stick and we're not gonna have to worry about it falling off early. So it'll actually cling to the dent and pull it out. All right, so now that our dent area is all nice and clean and dry, we're gonna wanna start by applying uh, a pretty generous amount of hot glue onto those dent puller tabs. That way you don't have to worry about them falling off and so they'll actually clean, cling to the truck and you know not come off prematurely as you'll see happened with me over here in a sec. And uh, you know later on with the poles I did after I put a lot more on and it seemed to work a whole lot better for me. All right, so after waiting just about five minutes to really let that hot glue start to cure and solidify and stick to their, our dent so that we can pull it out without any problems, you can uh, start to screw on that dent uh, puller contraption and screw it on. And then what you do is you just keep tightening, tightening that middle knob until the uh, dent pulls off. And as you can see here, I didn't wait long enough and I didn't have enough hot glue so it fell off prematurely. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, try that again. Okay, so while I was struggling to get that hot glue to really stick to both the, the pad and in the dent, I found it to be really helpful to just take a, a little bit of sandpaper and scuff up that um, dent puller tab just to make sure the hot glue would stick a little bit better. And then as you can see here, I put a whole ton more hot glue on just to make sure it really would stick and it would kind of ooze out and around and fill in that crack in the dent, a little crevice there. And here you can see me just sticking that on. You kind of want to hold it, make sure it sets up a little bit so it doesn't slide around. And then just same process as before, just screw on the dent puller contraption and start tightening it down until you hear a pop and the dent pulls out. So it's kind of nerve wracking while you're doing this. You really feel like you're going to either break something or just absolutely ruin the, the dent and make it worse because you got to you really got to crank down on that knob to make sure that you're pulling that dent out. And, you know, it's going to it's hard to it's hard to turn, but you just got to keep going at it and it'll uh, eventually just pop right out. So as you can see in the process of pulling that dent out, the hot glue stuck to the truck. It's not a bad thing. It's actually a really good thing because that means, you know, it's pulling it out. The dent's starting to come out. You just got to scra use the scraper that the kit came with to peel the glue back and you just keep going. You just got to keep pulling on that dent until it comes out. You just got to keep going at it. You know, it took me about an hour of doing uh, different uh, pulls and different areas on the dent to really try to get it out and uh, it comes out great in the end. You'll also notice that I used uh, just a little bit of paper towel just to kind of cushion those two uh, feet from the dent puller uh, just against the paint of the truck. That way, you know, it wasn't scuffing it up and it uh, wasn't gonna create like pressure points areas and create new dents. That was the last thing I wanted to do. So, I, you know, I'd advise uh, with doing that just to be careful and, uh, you know, you can never be too safe.
perfect. All right, so once you've finished pulling out your dent and you've got it looking pretty perfect, you've got it how you want it, you can go ahead and start cleaning up the area that you've been working in. Make sure to get all that glue off your paint. Just take the scraper, you know, you're not gonna, gotta be careful with it, but not too careful, because it is plastic, so uh, it's not gonna scratch a whole ton. Uh, but it, overall, for me, it worked pretty well for getting the hot glue off. And then, I just took some of that acetone and rubbed it over some of the smaller spots where there was still some hot glue stuck to it and just took a paper towel and it came right off. Now that you've got all of your small chunks of hot glue off your paint, you've got your dent looking nice and you're all ready to go, you can go ahead and uh, last step is just to wax over the area make it look, uh, you know, you spent all this time so you better make it perfect. So wax on and wax off and make that paint shine. Okay, so as you can see here, I was able to get that dent mostly out for the most part. You know, it looks a whole lot better than it did at the start and when I first got that dent there. And you know, overall using that kit, it was pretty easy and for $15, you honestly can't get better than that. You know, it's $15, it's not gonna be perfect. Did it get the dent out? Kind of, but it's also in a really hard spot to get dents out on that corner piece where you know that metal is really gonna be under a whole lot of pressure and really not gonna wanna come out. But I think, you know, if it was in uh, more of like a flat side panel, such as like your door or maybe your hood, trying to get a say you got a dent from uh, someone else hitting you with your car door. You know, I think it worked pretty well from that for that. And uh, overall, I'd say this kit was definitely worth it.